Hi, I'm Jay with Family Handyman, and you know, backyard time with friends and family isn't complete without some games. This summer, I wanted to make some cornhole boards. You know, they're fairly simple to make, but I made some improvements along the way. Let me show you how I did it. I gang cut the ends and the sides of the frame on the miter saw. I then cut the leg part slightly narrower so they would fit within the frame. Each cornhole board has one handle. Here, I'm using a 1 inch Forstner bit to start the handle and I will finish the cuts with the jigsaw. Once the holes were cut out, I eased the edges with a quarter inch radius router bit. I tacked the two legs together with a little super glue so the hole I drilled was perfectly placed in both of them and once I rounded over the tops and cut a 30 degree angle for the foot, the pieces came apart easily. For the assembly of the frame, I used pocket hole joinery. Once the frame was assembled, I applied some antique walnut gel stain and then top coated it with three coats of spar varnish. and I used the same stain and finish for the bottom of the board. So before adding any colors to the top of the boards, I wanted to seal it with shellac. Now that the shellac has been allowed to dry, I applied the tape to create my pattern. I used frog tape. This stuff is great. You seal the edges with water and it creates the most crisp line you could possibly get. I used some poster board to help mask off the other areas for applying the color. I created the colors using transtint dyes, diluted in shellac, and applied with the preval sprayer. You'll notice I didn't mask the darker colors as I progressed. The lighter colors weren't going to affect them so I thought it was extra work that didn't need to be done. Peeling the tape off is so satisfying, especially when you use the right product. It creates such a crisp line. Regulation cornhole boards require a six inch hole to be centered on the board nine inches from the top. I cut mine out with the jigsaw. I assembled the frame to the top with pocket hole screws and added the hardware. The slip hinges are optional. I added a spirit level to both boards to, you guessed it, make sure they're level on the ground. To attach the legs, I used a carriage bolt, a fender washer, and a threaded knob. Inside one of the cornhole boards, I put a cargo net to hold the bag. I partially sunk the screw, wrapped the net cord around it, and then tightened the screw all the way down. Once everything was assembled, it was time to apply the top coat. I used three coats of spar varnish on the face of the cornhole boards. This is going to give them plenty of protection for years to come. All right, there you have it. That was a really fun build. And you know, these cornhole boards are gonna give my family years of backyard fun. The only thing left is for me to get a little practice in. Or maybe not. For more great projects like this, visit familyhandyman.com.